Next up on our 2024 CBC Fall Sports Media Day Tour is the Orange Lions boys soccer team. As we wait for coach, we're going to let Luke go ahead and uh, get started here. Luke's a senior. Luke, for the folks at home, introduce yourself, name, grade, and position. My name is Luke Schmatzer. I'm a senior right now. Play midfield for our soccer team. All right, so coming in senior year, uh, you, you got to be pretty excited about that. You're, you're a senior, so in eight, nine months, you're going to graduate. But at the same time, every time you step on the field, uh, the end of your high school career gets closer and closer. So how are you kind of dealing with those dueling emotions? I mean, it's it's really motivating to know that you have a limited amount of time and to know that your career is coming to an end because – Every time you step on the field, you get a little bit closer to your last game. So you just want to make sure you leave everything out there. How different is this team compared to last year? I mean, every year, you know, teams graduate guys. How, how different has your team looked so far? I think this year, the thing that's really different about our team is that we're very balanced. You know, in the past, we've had like one, two, three guys that are kind of the ones that have to control the game and make everything happen. But I think this year we've got a lot of people that can make plays or so a very difficult team to guard. Tough start to the season so far, but when you look at the schedule, it's understandable. It was a little murderer's row you guys opened up with. What have you learned from those early games that's going to help you later in the season? Well, I think it's important to have tough games at the start of the season, kind of wake you up for the rest of the year. We've got conference games coming up starting on Tuesday. So we spent a lot of time this week thinking about what works and what doesn't and what we need to change going forward to start winning some games. What are you doing to keep the, the morale up being a senior leader? What are you trying to do to help the guys stay focused? Well, I just think it's important to keep encouraging people. You know, no one plays well when they're being put down and not having confidence. So you just got to Make sure you emphasize the good plays so that people have the confidence to keep playing well and to the best of their ability. All right. Thanks, Luke, and good luck to you this fall. Let's go over to Anthony. Anthony, for the folks at home, introduce yourself. Name, grade, and position. Um, my name is Anthony Spitaleri. I'm a junior in high school, and I play center mid or left wing. All right, so Anthony coming in. You guys are scoring, I think, uh, you have six six goals in four games, so you're having some success there. What's been working really well uh, up top? Uh, offensively, we have a couple guys that we're really happy about this year. Um, I think what we've done offensively has been um, – it's been really good because – well, I think actually a lot of it stems from – um, practices, we do a lot of stuff with um, finishing, you know, attacking third, you know, a lot of shooting drills. So I think that has been one of the key factors in our in our scoring. You, you told us what your position is, but what's your role? What is coach looking for you to do each game? Uh, well, this year as a junior, um, I, I uh, as an upperclassman, I, I've coach expects me and a couple other guys to, you know, step up, be a role model to the other guys, to the, to the younger kids, to the newer kids to the team. So I've kind of assumed that position and I, I hope to do a pretty good job with it. As I mentioned, you guys already have a few games in this season. Mm -hmm. Do you feel the confidence building each game or, or what, what's it going to take to kind of get that control where you guys feel more confident playing? Um, I think a lot of it just comes with the chemistry. I think our team right now has the talent and they have the players, but it's just kind of bringing that final piece together of having everyone playing on the same page, you know, having a positive mindset, you know, coming in every practice, every game and, you know, having trying to work together to uh, to to get better. And I think that's that'll uh, improve our our on paper record. What's it going to take for your team to kind of flip the script? You guys are you know a little tough start. What's it going to take to create some momentum, start winning some games? Uh, yeah, it was it was definitely a tough start, but I think uh, we have some. We definitely have personality on this team with Luke, um, another senior, Adam, myself, and Owen. We we kind of need to um, bring up the spirit and um, encourage guys because um, the team really does look up to us. And I think once we once we start doing that, they'll 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 listen. I think as a team, we'll start to play better. 
Outstanding. All right. Well, good luck to you this fall. Thank Let's you. Go over to Owen. Owen, for the folks at home, go ahead and introduce yourself. Name, grade, uh, and position. My name's Owen Walensky. I am a junior, and I play center and defensive mid. All right, so Owen coming in. Obviously, the defense plays a big part of soccer. Talk a little bit about that group. Who's on that back line with you, and what's it going to take to gel and come together and uh, keep the opponent out of the goal? Uh, well, we got to build a little bit of chemistry back there first with a couple of guys. We have some young players back there like Evan Novak. And uh, once once we get a couple of things going, it's, it's going to be tough, tough to get past us. What has been the biggest difference from last year to this year that you've already noticed in the first week of the season? Uh, it's been a little bit of difficult change. Uh, a lot of leaders left us, and we need to get more guys to step up, and that's what we've been trying the last couple of weeks. What's been working really well for the team this first week, despite the, the record? Uh, we've been able to move the ball very well within our middle and that's that's kind of what we're striving to do every game control the pace of the game who is your goalkeeper and give us a scouting report on him uh our goalie is kareem saya and uh he's he's new to goal but he he's getting a lot better with it within every game he's putting in a lot of work and what are your goals for this season, individually and for your team? Uh, I don't really have too many individual goals, but I really just want the team to succeed, win, win a couple playoff games, and make try to get a deep run by the end of the year. Outstanding. Good luck to you this fall. All right, Coach, we're going to bring you in now. Let's go ahead and uh, – we typically start with a preview of the team, but why don't you do that? Introduce yourself and then just give us a quick preview. What are you expecting out of the Lions this year? Yeah, um, <clears throat> so we've all, we have a rough start to the season, but I feel like we're so close of turning the season around. And I've we, me and my staff have high expectations for this team. We have a solid core that came back from last year as well. I know we graduated two or three guys that made a big difference last year, but um, most of the guys came back, and I expect us to compete for the CBC title and also make a deep run in the playoffs. Every year you're going to graduate players, so that's nothing new. Sometimes you have to, when you graduate players, you have to kind of change your offense or your defense just because you've had you know a quality player there for so long. Is that the case with Orange? Have you had to change much this season? Um, some players have to play different roles they're not accustomed to and, you know, losing Drew and Gall and, uh, Gabe, basically our whole center of the midfield. Some people just have to step up in there and do the job that, you know, we're expecting them to do. And then just define success for your team this year. What's it going to take for you to be uh, satisfied with what, what your team accomplishes? Um, Obviously, I mean, teams have looked at us and um, we've given up a lot of goals. So uh, defensively, we have to step up and that's a big goal this year. So um, defense is a major component that we have to adjust. And offensively, um, I feel like we can be we're a very dangerous team when we have the ball. Um, we just got to fix up the defense a little bit and I think we'll turn the season around. Outstanding. All right, Coach. Well, I appreciate you and the guys taking some time out of your day to preview the season. And I wish you the best of luck this fall. All right. Thank you.